Good morning. My name is Pastor Kevin Lynch. I'm a minister in Danbury, Connecticut. I've been a pastor, counselor for almost 25 years now. My background has been uh, one of uh, drug and alcohol abuse and all the associated difficulties and problems that come with that. Uh, I just happened to be on my computer this morning, like I am uh, any any other morning, uh, reading the news. I tend to read read all the news on the computer. Um, you know, anything I want to be interested in is I can find there. And I stumbled across um, a story this morning about actor Charlie Sheen, and I, I I can't describe it. I can only say I felt compelled to respond to that. And the only way I really know that there's even a slight possibility. Uh, that this would uh, be seen by anybody uh, even related to to Charlie Sheen um, would be to put this on on YouTube. Uh, so I'm videotaping this this morning. Uh, what what I would say to Charlie Sheen about his uh, entering a rehabilitation center, uh, and I've been following uh, the story, you know, about his. Um, uh, domestic problems uh, that happened in Colorado around the holidays and his arrest and uh, and and I understand that his wife is also entering rehab and so there seems to be a difficulty there and we know Charlie's past is one of uh, drug abuse and that kind of behavior and so I applaud uh, his uh, his uh, decision to go into rehab um, I'm a, first of all, I want to say I'm a fan, Charlie. So, I, I mean, this is what I would say to Charlie. So, Charlie, I'm a fan. I enjoy your show. I, I followed your career. Uh, you're a talented actor, both in drama and comedy. Um, Platoon was a, a movie second to none. Uh, you know, uh, you're just, um, you're, you're just an entertaining person with a lot of talent. And I sense a kindred, uh, spirit there because uh, there is something in your life that is short-circuiting your career and, and taking away from, uh, from your life. Um, so what I would say to you, Charlie, as a minister, is that I applaud the fact that you're going into rehab and that you're going to get your uh, physical body into shape and maybe even your mental aspect. Uh, you know, you're going to learn, hopefully, this time around that uh, that's a destructive behavior that you can't continue on or else you're going to die and maybe some loved ones around you will die. It's a destructive disease. There's no question about it. But as a minister, I, I tend to add, uh, I just want to add just a, a little extra uh, help there, Charlie. It's good that you'll get your, your, your physical and mental outlook uh, in order. But, you know, this isn't going to work, Charlie, until you get your spiritual life in order. And so this is what I would say to you, if I was standing in front of you or if you were sitting across the desk from me in a counseling situation, I would counsel you as to what you need to do spiritually. I can only tell you what worked for me. Um, I was about as bad as it got, you know, 25 years ago. And the only thing that pulled me out, saved my physical life, uh, saved my mind, but more importantly, saved my soul, was Jesus Christ. Now, And I know you've probably heard this all before, but... Um, let me just tell you that, uh, you know, the Bible understands, uh, you know, the, God understands the things that we go through and the things that we need to help us along. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, Paul says, everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. That was Paul's outlook. Um, there are other people that can do certain things like that, and, uh, and they can... Uh, uh, you know, people can 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 drink and they, without becoming alcoholics. Uh, people can even do recreational drugs and be able to put them down without without uh, any any long time damage. And then some of us cannot. Uh, so what might be permissible for one person, uh, not necessarily legal, but what might be permissible for one person to get away with uh, may not be for another. And so therefore, we should not allow anything to become master over us except Jesus Christ. Paul says in Ephesians, do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Well, there's the alternative, be filled with the Holy Spirit. So Charlie, this morning, if you ever had an opportunity to see this, let me just tell you, this is not just some religious mumbo-jumbo I'm throwing at you, man. I, I really had a feel, I really felt God was impressing upon me 
to uh, contact you in some way to let you know, first of all, that I'm praying for you, that I am in your corner, that I am a fan, uh, that, that, that I see you as, as, as the brilliant entertainer that you are. And it bothers me that, that I'm watching you also go down this self-destructive path that's going to affect your children, your parents, your wife, uh, all your co-workers, co-stars, people you come in contact with, um, fans that, that, that really do care for you, I'm sure, um, that you'll never get to meet. Uh, besides the fact that it's a great disappointment, but there are people that really care about you, and that's what I feel this morning. I feel I feel a spiritual care toward you this morning, and I just wanted to tell you that I'm praying for you today uh, as you go through this, but I'm also praying that the Holy Spirit of God would touch your heart, and that He would open that up for you to receive uh, messages from God, you know, through people like me, you know, or people that you'll run into in rehab, spiritual people that God will put in your path. I would just say, don't shut them out. Listen to them. Uh, open up, talk to God and ask him to come into your life. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your life, um, to, 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 to rearrange all the uh, fragmented pieces that are going on right now. And I can only personal, personally guarantee you, Charlie, that he will do that. So God bless you today. I'm pulling for you. If by some reason you ever see this, know that you have a friend in Danbury, Connecticut, in Pastor Kevin Lynch from Real Life Church. Uh, and so God bless you, man. And I only wish the best for you. Take care.